Hello everybody and welcome back to another battle replay. Just quickly get the formalities out of the way. Uh, these replays are pulled from my live streams, which I do, which are the viewer battle live streams I do over on DLive. So if you want to take part in one of those, then head on over to DLive. There's a link in the description. Give the channel a follow. And then when I go live, all you have to do is just sit in the stream. And when I make the lobby public and then I let everyone know the password, then you can just hop in and join and then we can battle together. Even some 2v2s, 3v3s, 1v1s, a whole host of different battles. Yes, I believe that is everything, so let's get into this battle. So, I am playing as the Beastmen, never really played them before, and uh, I went for a very, uh, very standard force here of a bunch of Minotaurs, and a bunch of Minotaurs is a great weapon, some anti-large, some anti-infantry. Uh, it turns out I really didn't need the anti-large, because uh, I'm going against two sets of rats, they didn't bring barely any actual large units. Uh, I'm being led by Kazrak One-Eye on his chariot, and I've got a Wild Spellcaster and a Saigon over on the right flank here. I have a couple of units of Centaurs with throwing axes and some Chaos Warhounds that are poisonous. My ally today is the Vampire Coast. He's got some scurvy dogs over there in the same flanking position that I have. His main force over here is just a bunch of artillery and missile units, as you should when you're playing the Vampire Coast. He's got the Queen Bess, as well as some Mortars and a Gunnery White that's going to sit here for the majority of the battle and just keep giving them ammo so they can shoot forever, especially Queen Bess. God damn, that's some Value. A bunch of zombie deckhands, pirate mob, just to, you know, clump up the front lines here, along with a single unit of depth guard, oh sorry, a couple of units of depth guard for some more elite front lines fighting, as well as a whole bunch of deck gunners, and of course a beautiful neck effects colossus, because you can't go anywhere without it. He's being led by Silostri Dyfin, just a couple more units of rotting Prometheans, and a zombie pirate gunner mob hidden in the trees there. We are going against two Skaven factions that have the same flag, so it's incredibly difficult to see who is who, but they just have a whole bunch of missile units. They plan this very well. They've got a bunch of rattling guns and Jezails, and mostly all of their infantry is pretty much just clan rats. They've got some artillery. Uh, I believe one army is being led by Ikit Claw there, and another army is being led by Deathmaster Snitch. They've got some Plague Priest and Assassin. It's just a painful process. They've also got the Wheels of Doom, Doom Wheel, over there, as well as some hidden units in the trees here. Some more Warplock Jezails, some Death Runners, and actually some Death Runners stand behind all of us, which we don't notice until very much later into the battle. So let's get into this. Now, of course, playing as the Beastmen, uh, my entire strategy was I just need to charge these guys down, I need to speed down to them, and uh, that turned out to be a terrible idea, uh, as, we will, uh, as we will see here quite quickly. Because the front lines here are so, you know, extremely... Jezail and Rattling Gun Focus, uh, they did that thing, uh, well, I can't remember what it's called, it's it's like the the pinning shots that basically slow you down as you move forward, so as I was trying to move forward with my 62 speed, uh, I was being slowed down significantly by the Rattling Guns, and uh, most of my units do get torn up in the uh, initial charge here, as you will quickly see. What I'm doing here is moving the Saigot up so he can get some throws off, do plenty of damage, I believe this one's going into these spears, which, uh, yeah, I don't want that to happen, because Game Slave Spears, that is so not valuable for this guy. Uh, I know he has plenty of ammo, and I know he does a lot of damage, but, you know, you don't want that going on Scam Slaves. So I'm going to move here and have him target some of these Rattling Guns. Uh, the first of the enemy artillery shots now hitting, and, uh, yeah, that, that hurts a lot. Uh, these Warplock Jezails in the front here, they're also doing a massive amount of damage, and uh, I'm very much not enjoying that. The enemy units are trying to move with some Rattling Guns here, so I just move up all of my units that are on the flank here, my Chaos Warhounds and my Centaurs, to try and pin these guys down and do some damage, because three units of Rattling Guns, that is insane value you can get there. But as you can see, I'm getting into range, and I'm just being torn to pieces by Jezails, Rattling Guns, everything, and I'm just begging my, my Vampire Coast ally to come assist me, because good lord, I'm getting annihilated. Uh, so a lot of my units, in fact, I'm pretty sure most of my units break in this initial charge. Uh, some of them come back, but it, it does not look good from the start here for me. As you can see, both mine and my allies' wolves got into range, and unfortunately they are both attacking the same unit because they kind of got clumped up there, but they'll take that out very quickly, and then we try and take out both the other units as quick as we can. Uh, there we go. Kazrak is now getting into combat. He's activated Deadly Onslaught to increase his charge bonus a little bit into those Clan Rat Spears and Ikit Claw. I'm targeting Ikit Claw. I want him gone. I don't want him here. Along with some Mind Swords Grey Weapons, they will help with their anti-large damage. But uh, pretty much everything else on my front lines is running away. Apart from the Saigor. He's, uh, he he's doing alright. He's just kind of sat there in the middle doing a whole bunch of damage. Uh, my other Mind Swords Grey Weapons are just in the middle of this massive clump. And unfortunately, they have Great Weapons, so they're getting an anti-large bonus, not an anti-infantry, which they really want to be doing. Uh, my other, some of my other units are now starting to rally and uh, I'm just trying to move them literally anywhere I can. I decided to move them back over this ridge and send them on kind of a flanking route over here. Oh, that wasn't my original Saigo. That was a Saigo that I summoned, so that's why he's out in the middle of nowhere. My original Saigo is at the back here, just, uh, just tossing a bunch of rocks and doing a whole massive amount of damage. 
Uh, as you can see, more and more of my units are starting to rally, so it's not actually looking too terrible, but it is still, it's still a pretty dire situation indeed. I really need my Vampire Coast ally to put in some serious work with Queen Bess, which uh, he's starting to do. 20 kills, not so bad. Kazrak when I get targeted by a massive amount of ranged fire, it's very terrible indeed. But he did manage to route Ikit Claw, but we all know Ikit Claw, he'll, he'll come back at that HP level. Uh, we just need to uh, be ready for that. Kazrak when I is getting pinned down here by some clan rats and being shot at by a bunch of enemy infantry. And uh, that's that's very not good. The Mind Toads great weapons and trying their best to take out this artillery, at least stop it from firing. And there we go, Ikit Claw has indeed come back. These Chaos Warhounds, they are charging headfirst into those Clamorite Spears. Not the best matchup there, but they should do just fine anyway because Clamorite Spears are pretty weak. My Sentinels are now moving around the back here. We've managed to completely get rid of all three of those units that were on the side, those Rattling Guns. That is excellent. I believe that is the last one. No, there's some Warplug Gisales. But nevertheless, I'm going to be shooting them with my Sentinels so they shouldn't stick around too long. Uh, another unit of mine saw great weapons are now running away. And uh, Kazrak, when I, he, he's not doing too well, he got hit by Deathmaster Sigil and uh, Deathmaster Snitch and uh, an assassin are fighting him. So that's a very, very poor matchup for him indeed. Uh, as you can see here, most of my units are just desperately trying to get around here through these trees so we can attack from the side. Uh, one unit has been pinned down by some clan rats, so that's very unfortunate. Uh, that's another great weapon, so it's an anti-large unit, so they are not going to do very well against infantry whatsoever. Now these Sentinels, they are being shot at by a bunch of units, but all they are trying to do is get rid of Icky Claw, get him off the map, and they are going to succeed in doing that. 411 health, no way he's coming back. Now Deathmaster Snitch over here and the Assassin are now on top of my Bray Shaman of the Wild and uh, they did that lovely glitch that they like to do where um, uh, instead of actually attacking it they just kind of push him to the edge of the battlefield which is very insane because it means he can't attack us but we're just walking after him. It's very strange indeed. Kazrak has indeed managed to come back. I'm just going to slow this down so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, so my mind source now, I'm just sending in, I'm trying to get rid of the second enemy lord, because if I can get rid of both enemy lords against Skaven, that is huge. Uh, just desperately trying to move my units around here. The Saigal is still getting shots off, 63 kills already, not too bad indeed there. I'm just trying to move my mind source around into these woods here, so I can start attacking from the side and, you know, at least have a little bit of cover coming out of the trees. Now, my Vampire Coast ally, he's now making here, well, he's made his advance, and he has uh, a summoned unit of damned nice errant, and they are charging into the Ikit Zap Zap Warp Lightning Cans. They are doing some fantastic work shutting those down and making sure they uh, cannot do any more damage to us. He's moving up his zombie pirate deckhands mob. His depth guard are deep into some clan rat shields. Uh, unfortunately, they are taking a bunch of damage from, I'm guessing, the majority of the ranged units, and they are falling very quickly. Silastra Dive in herself is here just to try and buff these units into staying, and also doing a bunch of summons, because you know what? If you can, you really should, because Skaven outnumber us massively, so we need all the help that we can get. Now, unfortunately for my ally over here, he is being attacked by the Death Runners. They are walking into his zombie pirate deckhands mob and his Necrofex Colossus, and they're going to continually harass them uh, for the majority of this battle. Uh, the Queen Bess, fortunately, is still unhindered as of this time, and she's picked up 52 kills along with the Mortar, getting 15 kills, and the Gunnery White is just providing them with ammo as often as he can. Uh, the enemy forces on this right side here are actually all starting to chain route quite quickly. They're taking a bunch of damage. Their Lord has fled recently, uh, so we really should have capitalized on that, but they are all starting to stabilize, which is very unfortunate. But as you can see, I'm kind of starting to form my death ball. There is uh, Deathmaster Snitch and his assassin, and he's in the middle of what's going to be a bunch of units of Minotaurs. My spellcaster's nearby. Kazrak One Eye's in there, but he, he's dead. Yeah, I really shouldn't have sent him in at that much HP. But uh, you know what? We'll manage, we'll manage. So more and more of my mind tools are finally getting around. In fact, I believe this is all the units that I managed to save. They have got round and are managing to survive in these woods for just a little bit longer. Now, Deathmaster Snitch, he's really good duelist against the, all these units that are attacking him from all sides. Uh, yeah, that's really not where he needs to be. He's taking a massive amount of damage. His and this, him and his assassins are really struggling in this fight here. Uh, my wolves finally being rooted. They got a bunch of value there, so though, so I'm not too upset about it. Uh, my sentinels with thrown axes managed to get into the back lines of the enemies here, and now firing into these uh, Natty Bobo sharpshooter warplock gazelles. So they're getting a lot of value there, just doing some damage to them, chipping them away, and uh, doing enough damage so that hopefully my vampire coast ally can take them out. Uh, summoned units of rotting Prometheans over here. At least, oh wait, that's not the summon. The summoned unit is I'm not sure where it's gone, but it's somewhere. Uh, they are chasing off uh, the Wheels of Doom and the Warplug Gisels, but unfortunately the Wheels of Doom is a fantastic unit, so it's probably going to uh, it's probably going to root them before it does anything useful. Unfortunately, my Sentinels are now being targeted by a couple of units, and with these skim, even with these Skim Slave Spears getting close to them, they are not going to last long, and they are going to route very, very, very soon indeed. And there they go. Very unfortunate there. But on this side, it's actually gone very, very well. Deathmaster Snitch is actually broken and shattered, and his assassin has also ruined off the map. So now I'm like, okay, I've taken out all the lords, all the, well, the majority of the heroes. Now I just need to focus on shutting down the rest of these guys, because if they can't shoot, they can't win. Their infantry is nothing. So we just need to form up and then attack. 
uh, over here for my ally. Uh, he's managed to move the neck effects up, but the cost of leaving all his artillery exposed, the death runners have gone to the back here, and that is, it's just Christmas for them. They, they can just attack this, and nothing can really stop them. Nothing here, at least. Uh, I would have left a couple of units here to defend this, or really focused on these death runners, but unfortunately, my ally did not, and he's paying the price by losing his queen bears and his gunner rides, and very likely his mortar very soon. My Saigo here is still doing God's work. Nothing has been able to shut it down. He's sent wave after wave of clan rat spears, but he's rooted them with terror and fear, and by just being a general badass and killing them quite a lot. 117 kills so far, that is massive. I'm now starting my charge out of the woods here. Unfortunately, one of my units of mine tours is rooted before it even makes it out of the woods, and another unit is rooted shortly after exiting. Uh, we just can't get through them. Thankfully, Slylos should die in, comes in and manages to shut down those warp block Giselles, uh, give us a bit of an opening to come in here so we can use her massive hitbox as cover to get into the battle. I managed to get one spell cast off my Lore of the Wilds Shaman uh, onto this artillery, hoping it do some damage, hoping it destroy some artillery pieces, but it very much did not. Uh, fortunately, my two units that have routed have now uh, rallied and I've sent them to attack these clan rats. Uh, these clan rats over here just to build their confidence a little bit because if they win in combat it builds their rep it builds their leadership and they can come back uh, much stronger than they well not much stronger but much more confident than they did before which is working my brave shaman has managed to come back from that quick little route there he was just a little bit nervous he's fine he's coming back he's half health he'll be fine now, thanks to Dilo uh, Silostra shutting down these guys, I've managed to get in here and attack this Plague Claw Catapult. He's managing to pin me down with some clan rats. I believe they are a summon, so they won't last too long. Oh, but a massive cast of a... I can't remember what spell that is, but it's very painfully need. I'm not a big fan, and it's uh, hurting my mountains quite a bit there. I can see these clan rats are coming from the side, so I managed to pull up my Bray Shaman around the side, and I'm going to use him to charge into the enemy ranged units here just to pin them down. I don't care if he gets kills. I don't really care if he gets killed. I just need him to stop them from shooting. I push him straight through these poisoned wood mortars because I'm like, okay, Silostra is attacking them, they're already rooting, so I need him to attack these sharpshooters here because they can do a bunch of damage. My other two units of Mindsaws are now pushing upwards towards this to assist in what's going on because I've already lost one unit and the other unit is so low on health, so low on leadership, I desperately need it to come in and save me. The Saigor, look, there's, there's three units of Clan Rat Spears here and none of them can touch this Saigor. He's exhausted, he's almost used all of his ammo and he's got a massive amount of kills and they just keep coming and he will just keep routing them he is an absolute monster the saigor oh my god is amazing if if the beastmen get reworked then uh with a bunch of those guys they're going to be a force to be reckoned with for sure uh, my other units of mine tools that was in from the beginning is now being slaughtered by a bunch of clan rats which is very upsetting also doesn't help that the wheels of doom doom wheel is here so i just send these two mine tools uh, i believe one of them is great weapon so that has that anti-large bonus to fight against this doom wheel and they should be able to take it out fairly easily just because of the entity and damage advantage that they can attack a lot more often than that can so uh, they should take it out fairly handled there unfortunately my other units of mine tools are now off the map so i'm down to about four units right now i have these two guys my spellcaster and my saigor my ally is also down to i believe this necrofex these zombie pirate deckhands and silostra dive and that's it that's all we have and we're against a just a bunch of clan rats i've got a couple of range units i've managed to charge down with my bray shaman which is very that's that's complete lifesaver if i didn't manage to charge these guys down we would not have won because i have a bunch of ammo left a bunch of damage left uh, but fortunately i do manage to so all we have left now is a bunch of clan rats and uh, these death runners over here so i'm just like okay we need to death ball because the death runners if they swarm any of these units they can take them out so so quickly like my allies trying to charge them down with the neck effects and the zombie pirate deckhands mob but it's not going to be enough that these guys they will just stick around forever and will just charge down a single end state so quickly it's disgusting i'm still charging my brace shaman after these range units over here just to make sure that they don't come back he's not really doing that much damage it's just to make sure that they do not rally uh, one of my mind tosses here is starting to break oh it's wavering just from the fear of going against these death runners but they managed to pull themselves back just in time even though one of them gets stuck in that artillery piece there and i'm charging them towards my saigor just so i can have all my units in one place so that if he wants to take me on he has to take all of us on at once uh, of course between getting charged by clan rats i'm having the saigor fire over at these guys and do as much damage and get as many kills as possible up to 203 kills which is very impressive and my Bray Shaman is now pushed those guys off the edge of the map and he's now going to move in to assist with this. Just going to speed this up here. All that's happening is I'm moving my units back into this death ball because <laughs> the Saigor is just getting swarmed over and over again and eventually starts to uh, break a little bit. But thankfully my mind tells get there in time and shatter all of their units. And uh, these death runners, they are charging in. I believe I lose vision of them at some point. So I start to just move my Bray Shaman to try and get some vision of them so that my Saigor can fire. I don't want my Bray Shaman to die because he's providing encouragement just by being there but I need the vision of these units. So I'm trying to move this guy as close to the enemies as I can without actually making contact with them. 
But the side guy, as you can see there, is still throwing out projectiles, a massive hit into the side of those Death Runners, which is costing a huge leadership penalty from taking so much damage at once. So, uh, my Stygars are now charging off the Clan Rats from the edge of the map. They're all broken and shattered, but I just want to make sure they don't come back. And then I realized they're just Clan Rats, so it doesn't really matter. May as well take out these Death Runners, get over there to assist my Bray Shaman. Now, I notice here that these Death Runners are starting to break, and I believe I've lost... No, I haven't quite lost sight of these ones, but they're not that... They're quite far away from me, so I think, okay, my Bray Shaman is going to get in there. He's going to charge them, he's going to break them, and then I need to pull off very quickly. And uh, this was an extremely risky play, because as you can see, he's taking a lot of damage from these Death Runners. Uh, not so much in marks are all dead, but that initial charge, he took a massive amount of damage just because they are so good at focusing down single entities like that. But just because of how much damage they do, their weeping blade, it's, it's, it's very nasty. But I managed to pull him away just as the other... Uh, de just as the other deference, if I could actually speak, get there, and he's just retreating from this. One massive hit from the Saigal there, and that is going to be all it takes. They're starting to waver, so I'm like, Bray, Shaman, get in there, and they start to root. And that is it, the Pyrrhic victory. Who would have thought in the stream, as soon as I was getting annihilated, everyone was like, no, this one's over. And then we somehow managed to pull it back. Excellent game from everyone there. That was a really fun battle. Uh, thank you, Cough Creamer, Dixplotman69, and a Western Spy. That was a fantastic battle. It was super close. And uh, let's have a look at these stats. So as you can see, the cycle there, so much value. 232 kills, both in melee and from ranged. Uh, a lot of the ranged targets were also very high value targets because, you know, they were all like the Rattling Guns and the Jezails. That's a massive amount of value there. Love that unit. Uh, some of my mentors didn't do too well. This unit got zero kills. That's one of the ones that routed before it even managed to step on to uh, the battlefield and get any damage done, uh, along with those Minotaur's great weapons. Very unfortunate there. But a couple of these guys, 136 kills there, 74, 52, 67. That is a great number of kills for a large unit like that, especially against the army we were going against. Uh, I know that the Skaven are a numbers faction, but uh, say that they had a lot of range units and that they were slaughtering me, I believe that is a great number of kills. Kazrak one and the Bray Shaman also got quite a bit of value, 76 and 73 kills between them. Uh, the Centaurs didn't do too bad, about 50 kills between them. And the Direwolves, not the Direwolves, I keep calling them Direwolves, the Chaos Warhounds with Poison, uh, doing some pretty good work there, 166 kills, that's about three units of Rattling Guns, then some other things that they got tangled up with. I guess that's some decent value from my army. My ally coffee creamer, of course, Queen Bear's putting in work, as per usual, 144 kills there, and 93 from the Mortar, for a grand total of about 250 kills from his artillery, so that was very worth it to keep them back there and firing constantly. Unfortunately, they did get charged, so it was very, very upsetting for him, but he did manage to get a lot of value out of them before they went, so it's not too bad. Salus should dive in a bunch of value there, as well as the Necrofex Colossus, and then uh, some depth guard of 103 kills, but I believe that was mostly just Skaven Chaff that got that slowed them down so they could get shots pieces. But uh, yeah, some excellent work there. Uh, Dixby Floppin, which was on the right side, uh, who was playing Ikit Claw, he got a massive amount of value out of those Death Runners. Look, nearly 200 kills on those. Uh, the rest of his army actually didn't get too much value. I'm pretty sure it's because he was shooting at me, so you don't really get a large number of kills when you're going against a small entity number uh, units, but nevertheless, a lot of damage and a lot of value for those rattling guns. The Jezails were 55, I believe they were probably shooting uh, some of my Sensegars or possibly some of my allies' infantry to get a couple of numbers. Uh, a Western Spy was on the left, who had Deathmaster Snitch. He managed to get one kill, which was probably just Kazrak one eye. And uh, apart from that, he didn't really get much value because I managed to push him off the edge of the battlefield along with this assassin here and get rid of them fairly quickly. The Plague Priest, 22 kills, not too bad there, but again, those Death Runners, 139 kills, so much value for those guys. That was an excellent play by uh, the enemy Skaven there. I didn't quite realize it was uh, each each uh, army had one unit each. That's a, it's a very good play that they did there. Excellently coordinated and uh, GG to everyone involved. And uh, 91, 70 on those Chisales and a bunch of all, a bunch of kills in all of these range units. They did an excellent job. Uh, yes, I believe that about wraps it up. Uh, if you enjoyed this battle, then as I mentioned at the start, be sure to head on over to DLive, drop me a follow, or just join the Discord. I let them know when I go live, and you can hop into the stream, uh, join me in battle, and probably crush me because I'm not too good at uh, these battles, uh, but it's fun nevertheless. So as I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, and uh, if you didn't like it, then be sure to leave it a dislike and a comment saying uh, how terrible it is. I would appreciate that very much. If you want to see more content on Total War and strategy games in general, I do guides, I do Monday videos that are nice and wacky and zany, I do battle commentaries, I do some stuff that isn't actually Total War Warhammer 2, so be sure to stick around for that and hit subscribe if you want to see more, and I would appreciate that very, very much. But yes, for now, I was Colonel Danders, and I'll see you next turn.